Oh, okay, so I wanted to um, do a very quick video on my, sharing my thoughts on the, the casting of J.K. Simmons as uh, Jim Gordon, the commissioner of you know Gotham City and the DC Cinematic Universe. Um, I'm gonna say at first, I uh, my my immediate reaction was um, um, uh, why? <laughs> I mean, not because I think he's a you know a shitty actor. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, he's a fantastic actor. I mean, like, um, I just you know think to myself, um, just because you're a brilliant, fantastic actor, and you you know, and you have, you know, and you won like what? Um, I don't know how many awards that he that that he that he's won. I'm I'm you know I'm sure it's more than one, but I can't remember exactly how many. But um, that doesn't mean that um. I don't know that you're that you're a perfect contender for, you know, a comic book character. I mean, sometimes you know, sometimes that can flip. You know, like um, like for example, um, Ben Affleck. Um, uh, I thought he was not the obvious choice for Batman at first. I was like, why, why? I wasn't ups I wasn't as ups as obsessed as every as upset as everybody else was <laughs> or that most people were about the casting of you know Ben Affleck as Batman and I like to say I think that ship's you know sailed I mean from what we've seen you know in the trailers and the promos for Batman v Superman and now we're just like yeah he he's Batman <laughs> so this could be that same exact thing but um I always pictured Brian Cranston as um as a uh, you know Jim Gordon but um uh, I mean, I, I still, and in many ways, I still do, because I think he, you know, what I just think he's he perfectly fits that character like a glove. I mean, when I picture how he looked and stuff, you know, with the with the mustache and the hair and the glasses, I'm thinking to myself like, um, I know he played the voice of Jim Gordon in Batman Year One, didn't he? Um, I'm thinking to myself, uh. Yeah, I mean, like, he would be perfect as that character. <laughs> he would be perfection. And, um, I mean, I'm not saying J.K. Simmons is the worst choice, but he he is not, like, the most obvious choice to me at this point. But as, I guess, as, I'm pro as I process, you know, this news, I think to myself, um, I mean, um, I went, I went through this... I went through the similarities of this with, with uh, Ben Affleck as Batman and, believe it or not, with Heath, Le Heath Ledger as the Joker. Be that is way before we heard, before we saw him in action with the makeup on and talking and everything. But, um, if I can underestimate, you know, like, I don't know, you figured I would, I mean, I think after, especially after Ben Affleck, um... That taught me to keep an open mind to, um, to, you know, casting and, and just trust the studios and, you know, they know what they're doing. Um, and, you know, for a while bef before I finally warmed up to Ben Affleck as Batman, I thought, you know, along with some other people that Josh Brolin would fit that world like a glove. This was before he was cast as Thanos, you know, like in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And, um... Now I'm thinking to myself, like, no, that's Thanos. <laughs> that is Thanos. Yeah, he should stick with that. And Ben Affleck is Batman. I think he's going to be a awesome Batman. And he, who knows, he may have some awesome on-screen chemistry, you know, partnership dynamics with um, J.K. Simmons, um, Commissioner Gordon. And I am curious to see how he's going to bring this character to life. So, um... And he has stepped out of, you know, being J. Jonah Jameson, you know, before in, you know, other roles, you know, like, um, you know, like the other movies that he's been in and, and, and so on. I didn't see all of them, but from what I did see in the trailers and stuff, I'm like, oh, yeah, um, I don't, I don't see J. Jonah Jameson there now. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> so, um, I, I'm not, comp I was not completely against it. I was just caught off guard, like, huh? But, um, I mean, hey, you know, I'm, you know, I'm curious to see how it turns out, and I have, 
I have faith, you know, in this guy. I'm thinking to myself, I'm picturing him and you know, as Jim Gordon in my brain, and I'm thinking, you know, there is hope. There is hope and um there's not enough, you know, that's there's not enough, you know, negativity towards my 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 reaction to the casting for me to say, Oh yeah, I'm gonna eat my words later on when I see him in action. But I am yeah, like I said, I'm real curious to see how that turns out. And um you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what role he will play in what? I guess he, he will be in the Justice League movie or Justice League Part One, I think. So, um yeah. Um yeah, that's it. So I mean that, that's my thoughts on the casting. And um uh, okay, um questions for you guys. Um do you I mean do you think um do you think J. Kim and you know, J. K. Simmons is the perfect choice? Or I mean, or some, or do, do some of you think Brian Cranston, you know, should have got the role? Um, I mean, you know, it's whatever. I mean, um, it, it didn't, you know, it didn't hurt my pride, you know, that um, that it wasn't Brian Cranston that got the role. I didn't, you know, I was just like caught off guard. So that's, you know, the exact opposite of my reaction to um, my reaction to Ben Affleck at first, where I was just like, what the fuck is this a joke? But um, I wasn't. My, that wasn't my reaction towards the Gordon casting. So, and um, so, um, yeah. Like I like I said. Um, do you think Brian Cranston would have been a better choice, or do you think J.K. Simmons is gonna knock this role out of the park? And I'm sure some of you were doubtful towards Gary Oldman before we saw him in action in the Dark Knight trilogy. And we'll, we'll get we'll get how that turned out. He is by far the key quote quote unquote. The key words are by far the best Jim Gordon ever. Some of you may think Ben McKenzie is. I mean, that's cool. But in my opinion, it's Gary Oldman until, you know, until we see J.K. Simmons in action. So if you enjoyed my, uh, my thoughts on this um, news, thumb up the video. And make sure you click subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>